Thank you, Elizabeth and Singlemba. Uh, this is a very exciting moment for me today uh, for a few reasons. Uh, one, I'm meeting the wonderful members of uh, Dynamic Manipur, which uh, I had met only on the Facebook. So I find them today in full enthusiasm and uh, so very welcoming. And so I am very comfortable uh, to be with every one of them and every one of you. And uh, number two, uh, we will be talking about a very forward-looking I mean forward topic about, uh, say, how to go abroad for higher studies. And so that demands a lot of enthusiasm from you again. And uh, three is that uh, this is uh, my birthday today. Thank you. So we are having a little bit of problem uh, setting up the projects and so in the meanwhile um, I would like to say uh, talk about uh, uh, who I am a little bit. Uh, may I ask, uh, did you know about me uh, before today, this uh, anyone, if uh, five of you knew about me then uh, I am famous. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think uh, I counted about five. Okay, thank you very much. But uh, I'm not as famous as Mary Com. <laughs> so, and uh, this addressing to, uh, particularly to the students, um, may I know uh, how many of you are postgraduates? Postgraduates. Okay. And uh, how many of you are graduates? Graduates. Okay. I think uh, yeah, most of the students are they are still undergraduates. That's okay. The, this is a beautiful um, combination of the time. audience <laughs> uh, and. Uh, so some of you who are undergrads, uh, you will be say, having plenty of time for planning and so by the time you are ready yeah, to go abroad, then uh, you will be fully prepared. Excuse me, is the position okay? Okay. So, uh, about me, about me, I grew up uh, as a, an average student, and uh, so I, in my career, uh, I had a few, uh, say, first division and uh, then uh, some second divisions. And so uh, I didn't achieve much. And uh, when I look uh, back, this, I know today that the reason why this, I was an average student. Because uh, when I, ha this, uh, I had a feeling about myself that uh, uh, I was still a good student, but uh, my examination results uh, talk something else and so I didn't score very high and uh, the reason is that uh, I didn't work very very hard which is required to be a good student. So the message today I want to give to you all is that uh, uh, many of you say will be going abroad if, uh, say, you desire so. So, I... When I couldn't be a very good student, 
but I grew up as a person who wanted to do uh, many things. And uh, sometimes, say, uh, I tried to be adventurous, and uh, my adventurism just took me sometimes to uh, misadventures. So that's still okay because I learned from the failures, and uh, still this I could proceed. And uh, so today, uh, this uh, I stand before you as somebody uh, who say has experienced a little bit about the, this is how the higher studies are in the foreign countries and what kind of things uh, are needed to be done by the people who want to go abroad. Yeah, please go back. So, <clears throat> on the beginning page, I'm trying to show you one picture here. This, the, the mark, the level here is uh, Prosswick at the uh, University of Toronto. Anybody knows about uh, Prosswick? Okay. And uh, anybody knows about the uh, ranking in uh, universities and colleges? I think most people know about ranking. So, in most uh, developed countries, and uh, so taking the uh, University of Toronto as an example, uh, the beginning in the campus is a very exciting and uh, positive experience for everybody, all the students. In ranking, this uh, there is a negative vibe because the senior students uh, they try to harass the, the younger students. So like when they try to impose some kind of discipline. But uh, Cross Week is a totally different experience for the uh, new students when they enter the campus of uh, a new university. And there will be about a week of uh, prolicking and pun making and then so giving sounds to every new student to say mix up with the old students and in a very positive manner. And so that's the kind of, uh, say, uh, <clears throat> scenario in the university campus and then the college campus uh, in the developed countries, including Canada. Next, please. So today, I want to give you an information that uh, student mobility is uh, quite high today, 4.5 million students are studying outside their own country today at any point of time. And uh, 22 million people are moving from one country to another every year. And uh, in Canada alone, the Canada receives about 100,000 students from other countries in the world. And so people are moving from one place to another and uh, so looking for opportunities, maybe for higher studies or maybe for job or immigration. And so people are moving and uh, we should be joining uh, say, uh, that pattern. That next week. So why do people go abroad for study. Can I speak uh, in Manipuri sometimes? Uh, yeah. Anybody has a problem? Yeah. With mix up, okay. So, uh, next. Uh, no, 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 the previous one. No. The previous one. Okay. So people move from one country to another for study. 
for a few reasons. They go for better valued education and then uh, the better facilities when cat gets... Uh, the Okay, okay, okay. If we say, if we study the study of gate of country, the laboratory matrix on a pang drug deal with our day, my dear, her serious student to the her hand of power, pump, my dear, about from the turning by our way. Other day, her mana, why employability, hang up a gay, Kalaga, that we are a power pound up. The Gina Tagana. Kanada Salaga for a high self key, Tabak Doruge and Kalakan with the US Salaga, UK Salaga, a probably Pachai and a Piva Tabak Doge, Kalakan with the Aduga Sanabo qualification, Tibakan with the Moita Sati. The Gi immigration Gi, Tagi, student in Sakaga, the Dagi, Adam, later Ginabagi, Kalaba meeting, when a joint or go for the Kirigasa Piawe. The Gi uh, in search of a good life for some people, uh, so even from the developed countries, uh, so the students uh, go to uh, say another country uh, just to explore and then have fun there. I don't want to go to the country. I don't want to go to the country. I don't want to go to the country. I don't In the world, see the, <coughs> there are about 12,000 universities in the world, uh, in the 179 countries they counted. And uh, so there is a world ranking of the, uh, the universities. So based on the 2014 data, for Canada, India, and the state comparison, we have to compare the data with the data with the data with the data with the data Koi say dana comment tori, adu ki information kiran pizza ning tau bani. World ranking say da India da koi sosu koi institute, da sosu koi university panay amle, adu boy koi sigi the tasa ye ang kanu the di world ki rank fifty first fifty university da India da ki yau bra ye ang kanu da am ti yau di. Da ki first two hundred Rain pogi mungkin dia yau berani yang kan dua itu India lagi Eurasia pogi yau ni. Adunna kan lagi koi IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay si rain 222 atau ada di lain. Adunna when the scenario for India is like that, then in Canada there are three universities in the first 50. And the 10 in the first 200, and the 26 in the first 700. At the moment, our Canada still, although most of the advanced universities are concentrated in the US, and then many are in UK, and then followed by these other countries. So, at the moment, our Canada still, although at the moment, somewhere maybe. Koi advanced country with the third lega like Tamba in a high visi adugi. Tonga mui ki yang makana bermar ama soi dana di dom layar money na dom koi segi dom low biaya. Next. Post secondary education koi develop country itu mui sensi mui semain tu biaya. Yang na kerana na academy koi na seri tu biaya kau kamu sensi na. Koi PUC pass atau macam tu, PUC pass atau macam tu, dia directly they go to the university campus and then start the undergrad studies. PUC itu macam tu, semua yang saya kira undergrad study nak kau itu na. Aduga, koi job oriented way dah. Aduga koi post secondary juga sendiri dia tuer ke macam tu dia saya amat orang, ani orang, ahum orang, main orang tu dia. Mui tabak tina kita ubah kampus ini. Mui sendu kita tuan ni, alat thamaga, tu na community colleges, tu na daerah tu dia se certificate, diploma course for two years, advanced diploma course for three years, 
adagi in some of them bachelor's degree four years at mine talk be on a smile talk structure story moi keno sina the university dana bachelor degree master degree phd programs the post doctoral programs the post graduate certificate and a diploma programs adu sik dana university na run to ba at mine talk like structure next adai koi na sakke na khala kan de da koi na yeng do si Uh, factor sagi say applicable to everyone of us a koi factor kai yang ka doi koi ma phamri sala ga koi adum le am doi ba climate to sana doi ra san roi doi ra ai adapt to bang ngad ra ngamoi tra and da gi in sabai bi school du gi repetition kai no se da gi india da gi all the way sala ga aro sumoi a son ba do means the do dum lai e dum adu mam da dum sang sala ga ta mo ga di there's no point aduna satigi da saigi sagro phum dugi school dugi repetition aduga adugi phang kroi ba moi qualifications adugi value ekoi na ha na khangnu ko manda ka lai adagi expenses ka mu ka nei koi na takke kha ka australia salagna hong doi ra adagi us salagna hong doi ra germany salagna hong doi ra canada salagna pha doi ra adu sik do ekoi na ha na prai ek kum sang aduga employment market ai ta budoi du pesa tang ta budoi ni da gi se atoba various mui kenoda mui challenges mai amom mitor ka tamain to sat to ni adu tamur ga dai dai koi kadai da koi thok phang pe ya da ge hundu dum phang doi ra na thakna international le accept to bra to da bra adu singo munni hong kong sang adu ga a financial supports available ana paisa song sangro in na sagi adu financial resource fund thi do ko man sangi ana high back ya uti do ma tung rida say we will be going looking at the other requirement thanks next please ana say the you have to be either on board or on gear The first thing you have to do is know yourself. Koi something is to say it's something is to adai da ai gi ai gi academy of cement scores level aduga adagi aduga sana pa sana da ba adugi adumai to ga khane ai si satho ma tamdui dai adum admission phangra phangoi dra aduga salaga pham dui dai na adum complete to bunga modra nga moi dra du ba advana hana khangu masange do ga we have to do a lot of research and the uh, uh, it's a time taking uh, effort and then you have to knock many doors akoi mugi kando ga irai dan hetta mugi phangu porom di oire ana kha thiba da gi sa gi hoji ti am lai re ma mai dem rong be wani hoji ti everything on your fingertip do ga if you are smart enough loina ba na sagi internet ta do ga web ta loina information no dai mina na loi ju pe are akoi na to ko tam dui de di adom scholarship ka gi information thi ge to ka dui da all the way to delhi sa si ba na ta ga ta ga do de gi publish mu gi book de ma sa bora ga do de ka ya wi to yi ga arwan to to ko ni to all those information and then not only that thousands of i mean financing sources etc are available this uh, online today and uh, you have to seek help from where uh, say anywhere available to uh, plan ahead of time uh for example see for example like them to see adum group ni group to for wala tap di ya roy then at least uh, say you need uh, about uh, one years uh, preparation at the point of na take you well ahead of time uh, prepare to on the next please and uh, be a person smart a koi na sagi university sa ka college sa ma apply to the data apply to the data uh ai gi qualification si si uh mugi tam dui ba dugi appropriate academic background am le bisangi adu ga sagi extra curricular activities 
uh, they always look for a, an all-rounder, this is student. At the point of view, do not study goals aligned with the career objectives. Do carefully work out the whole day. Do go see the when a specially postgraduate or second to country the document I'm not going to give away. The SOP, the statement of purpose, and must be see. So now in a say 80 percent, 90 percent is goal or be I do that is one criteria for assessment. For admission, aduga, see, terminal purpose in a high school leader, you have to write a very very convincing note. Nana tong isi kay no, aduga, may tamaga aduga ina nana tong yung kalis kay no. Aduman to ba see, aduga, yano pasapa may yung kano ma same year ka pibo masangi. Aduga, yung ano yung admission board sina tagi. They, they can assess your quality, whether you will be fit for the program, and then whether you will make the best out of the program. At the point of the see SOP, even see uh, we have to be very careful. Academic transcripts and uh, <coughs> grade point <coughs> average, nangi marking. Uh, See, some of the courses will need the standardized test course like uh, CMAT, CRE, etc. Uh, proof of language proficiency will be demanded by every college and uh, uh, universities. So I'll be I'll be giving this, uh, some of the information about these uh, different tests and the letters of recommendation. There should be there should be some people, at least two or three uh, people from your previous college to write uh, something good about you, just a recommendation about you. So that you will uh, be needing when you apply for admission anywhere uh, in a college or university. Next, please. So, uh, oh, so here are some of the <coughs> standard uh, uh, graduate admission tests. So by graduate, I mean when you go for, uh, say, uh, master's degree courses. Master's degree course, say, where are they? Say, I can do my development business. The graduate, say, I can do a degree. I'm a cadre in a BSc to be with them. I'm a great in a cadre. And then, and then, my postgraduate program, I'm a second year. I'm a second year. I'm a second year. If you're going for a management courses like MBA, then you'll be needing the GMAT, Graduate Management Admission Test. And uh, when you go for the, say, Masters in Engineering or, uh, say, any of the Masters in other subjects, some of them demand GRE, Graduate Record Examination. This is another international uh, test. And then if you want to go for law, postgraduate law studies, then you'll be needing this LSAT, Law School Admission Test. And if you want to go for medical admission and veterinary admission, especially in uh, US and Canada, you will be writing an examination called MCAT. Next, please. <coughs> so GMAT is administered by uh, this uh, GMAT Council, and uh, the purpose is for seeking admission in uh, business schools. And the test is for three hours and uh, thirty minutes. And uh, the test is has uh, a few components, like four components: analytical writing, essay, and a quantitative test, and then verbal test, and integrated uh, reasoning. So essay writing, I have. Uh, I want to have a special mention about it here. Essay writing is. Uh, very useful tool for the assessors to know you, this is your analytical thinking ability and critical thinking and then this uh, identification of the purpose. And so all those, they will know easily when this, they look at the essay uh, you write. And uh, essay writing, this, uh, you have to develop this, uh, your skills to the maximum because uh, this, there's a real emphasis on this uh, when you apply for admission. 
and the course material expenses, accommodation, food, travel and commuting, visa cost, and uh, health insurance, personal expenses, and uh, opportunity cost. Opportunity cost means if you were already working, then uh, leaving the job and then going for the study for two years, for example, and uh, one year, and then during that much of time, you lose the salary, right? And so that's the opportunity cost. So uh, you have to say, take into account all these uh, different costs and then work out uh, uh, whether you'll be able to afford it or not. Next. So the funding, you have to be very smart at uh, finding the funding and there are various kinds of funding and uh, the grants, grants are obtainable from uh, various organizations and uh, grants are the money given to you for your study and which need not to be returned to the uh, so it's different from uh, loan. And the scholarships and fellowships, these two come under grants. But uh, how these scholarships are different from fellowships is that the scholarships are, say, both of them are merit and merit based. And the scholarships are normally given to the undergrad studies students. And the fellowships are given normally to the uh, higher studies say, uh, for postgraduates and then PhD programs, postdoctoral programs like that. But uh, they are often used interchangeably. And uh, bursary is another term. Uh, I don't know if uh, this is common here, but uh, uh, bursary is uh, a grant given to, uh, say, an economically weak uh, student financially weak uh, student. And uh, loan is uh, the money you get from uh, various sources, maybe the government or some banks, and uh, so at some uh, particular inter interest, and you have to return the money. And the award and the prize are given by, say, some specific uh, uh, interest groups to the students, uh, say, according to their own criteria of selection. Next. So, uh, <clears throat> looking at the entire scenario, uh, while there are thousands of sources for the, uh, say, uh, study funding, uh, personal funding constitutes 60% of the students. So, uh, from among the 60% who funded uh, their own uh, study by themselves, uh, some of them could have uh, a well of the funding from other, uh, say, grants from other funding uh, organizations. Uh, if, say, they were able to look at those things and then pinpoint them and then pick it up, but uh, they failed to do that, and so that's why just, uh, they funded themselves. And institutional funding can be, again, it's merit-based, some are merit-based, some are need-based, some are university specific and uh, course specific, subject specific and uh, career specific, demographic specific, country specific, ability specific, by which uh, it means uh, for the handicap uh, this, uh, there will be money available for them. And then uh, some still can be non-specific. Next. So where to look for? Now, this, uh, you know that uh, the funds will be required and then uh, there are various kinds of funding and then now you have to know where to look for the funds. And uh, the first you have to look for is uh, at the home country or the host country governments. They have plenty of programs to support the students. For example, you live in India and you want to go to Canada and then there are there's uh, various financial support programs, scholarships and fellowships done by the Indian government. And uh, then again, this, uh, there are plenty of programs done by the Canadian government under many of their organizations. 
And so it's for you to locate. So with funding, uh, the, uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, you need to access. And uh, universities uh, themselves have their own funding programs. And uh, <coughs> ah, education uh, institutes. So universities in US and uh, Canada, at least I know, when you uh, apply for admission, you are accepted, and then you become a student. And uh, there are certain scholarships uh, that automatically come to you. This, you don't need to apply separately for the funding. But uh, this, your, application, uh, your application for admission itself is enough for uh, their consideration to forward you the financial assistance. And uh, there are thousands of charities, trusts, societies, and special interest groups uh, in the world, this world, ready to support you. I want to mention about uh, my personal experience in this. Uh, say, when I couldn't be uh, in any of the university as a faculty, but uh, I was working as a, as a state government officer here, but I still managed to go for international trainings, some of them, say, uh, in Japan, in the Netherlands, and in Czech Republic. And then I attended uh, many of the conferences uh, in uh, four or five countries. How did I manage is that uh, I look for supports, uh, so not only from the conventional sources, but, but uh, from other sectors. So the cities, there's once when I went to Canada, before I actually moved there, uh, I went to Canada to attend a conference. And uh, then I tried looking up uh, several funding sources. And uh, then I applied, I requested one of the say, philanthropic organizations. And then uh, the luck clicked. And then I got assistance, full assistance. And so, so with that, uh, I was able to travel. So what I mean to say is that uh, you shouldn't confine yourself to, say, some of the sources you know, but uh, there are many others. And uh, those sources are not very difficult to look for today uh, in the internet age. Those days, I had to go to a big library and look up uh, this, uh, <clears throat> and open all the pages of some of the uh, funding sources, uh, some of the books on uh, I mean, uh, academic funding. And uh, today, you don't need to do that. So just go uh, to the say, website of the particular organization and then uh, look for the criteria they want for consideration, and then you apply. So employer contributions are sometimes uh, helpful. And then student loans. Many people just uh, go to the bank, and the banks uh, so they are happy to fund you if you are going for a meaningful study. And uh, many students come from uh, India, and including the students from Manipur, uh, they come to Canada with uh, loans they get from the Indian banks. And the uh, Research Council grants, this is uh, especially for the people who are going for the postgraduate and then at the level of PhD and the postgraduate uh, postdoctoral studies. Uh, most of the countries have uh, their uh, research councils, maybe the social science research councils or maybe the natural science uh, uh, councils. There are research councils. And uh, for example, we have in India CSIR, and then uh, uh, in, in Canada, this, uh, uh, it's a natural research and engineering research council, so like that. So most of the countries have them, and uh, so you have to look up so what funding is available, and then uh, uh, you can apply. And uh, alternative funding options, crowd funding, there are many other kinds, and portfolio funding is the one when you, have, you apply for one portion of the money requirement from one source, and then that is complemented by another, uh, I mean, fund from another source. So that's called portfolio funding. And uh, student jobs. 
when you go from here to study in uh, developed countries, then uh, uh, there is a very well established system of uh, student part time jobs. And you can take up uh, some of the part time jobs and uh, without compromising too much uh, your studies. And uh, that uh, that earning can supplement uh, significantly to your study cost. And so this is widespread, and all the universities, all the colleges will have uh, uh, a particular office for helping the international students. Uh, so, and then they arrange the placements. And there are two kinds of uh, work permit there. One is called in-campus work permit, and uh, so for the jobs available within the campus, and uh, then off-campus work uh, permit, uh, under which you can go outside the campus and then look for opportunities outside. And uh, for some competent students, if they can get, uh, say, uh, a job in their own profession uh, in, under the off-campus work permit uh, program, then the earning is so big that uh, it can uh, completely meet the entire limit of the OSTD course. So in that case, studying in, say, Bangalore or Hyderabad will be more expensive than study, uh, studying in Canada or uh, US. Next, please. So, this is one example about uh, the, <clears throat> the scholarship for going to uh, studies in the U.S., the Fulbright Fellowships, and uh, this is uh, administered by the uh, U.S. India Educational Fund, and uh, this is the office concerning this area, Manipur, uh, is in Kau Kolkata. So you can look up their website or you can write a call and find out. And there are uh, hundreds of, uh, I mean, uh, the fellowships and scholarships available with them. Next please. And another uh, is very common, Commonwealth Fellowships and Scholarships in India. And again, see, since 1958 till now, there have been 29,000 students who have availed of the, uh, this scholarship. And you can go to all the Commonwealth countries uh, for taking up your studies under this program. And so at the rate of 29,000 uh, during the period since 1958, this, uh, you can say easily calculate that uh, every year I think that there must be about 500 or 600 students going abroad uh, we're under this program. Next please. So you have to know about the selection criteria. First, say, uh, they'll be looking at the academic credentials and the process professional ability, uh, say, in, uh, in, uh, which is expressed by your application. And uh, merit of the proposed project. Very often you'll be writing a say, project proposal, especially when you go for the uh, master's or PhD or postdoctoral this uh, program. At that time, so uh, they will be looking at the proposal you submit, and uh, then the next is motivation, maturity, leadership, and adaptability. And uh, <clears throat> the third is ability to contribute. Uh, okay, so Canada. Now, I'd love to talk about Canada as a very good destination for the students. Canada is among the uh, is the top among the 65 developed countries under OECD in school education uh, based on a report uh, of the OECD in 2012. And uh, it has a world-class higher education and the tuition fees are always lower than US, UK, Australia, and New Zealand where many people go. And so when you go to Canada, 
this, uh, the, um, the education cost, the tuition fees will be lesser. And uh, the lower cost of living, Canada is cheaper. Uh, this Toronto, the third biggest, uh, in North America, the third biggest uh, city. New York is the biggest, Mexico is second, and Toronto is third. Aduga, affordability, the living cost, uh, there are 60 cities in the world more expensive than Toronto. So that means uh, the living cost is uh, lower uh, in uh, Canada. A safe country and uh, multiculturalism. Uh, it's very peaceful. Say, uh, Toronto, ga, Chicago, ga, city, and it's compared to where it's in population wise. Aduga, and it's compared to a country da, when uh, Toronto has about uh, say uh, five million people, and Chicago has five million people. Aduga, gun related crimes and death. Toronto, da, the same da, about sixty people die from gun-related uh, crimes, and uh, uh, Chicago has 600 people. Uh, I don't know, it's, uh, the crime rate is 10 times higher in the U.S. Uh, the multiculturalism, she went to get Canada, the uh, constitutionally uh, run in science drugs. There are many necessary laws and regulations to uh, give a comfortable life to people of various ethnic origin. At the point of Nagasaki, everybody, uh, say whether a newcomer or an old resident, they live comfortably there. So the racial discrimination is uh, not visible there. Whereas we hear about uh, the racial, uh, racial discrimination in Australia and uh, then uh, in U.S., even this, uh, uh, you'll feel this uh, uh, racial discrimination, the existence of it. Excellent programs for linking to work permit and uh, permanent resident visa. Canada is mine to wait. Can you see student to in a select candidate? Uh, uh, say you learn today in Canada as a student. From next day, uh, you can apply for the off-campus work permit. So, which gives you uh, this uh, an excellent opportunity for earning from, I mean, at a higher pay. Not the survival jobs, but uh, even in your professional uh, field. <clears throat> Two years key study programs at the Canada government uh, three years ki uh, open work permit in MP. Uh, three years ki wa open work permit si lower ga the ga Canada thabuk to wa hawa ka andreida the day you complete one year of work in Canada then you are eligible to apply for the permanent resident visa. Uh, the permanent resident visa I see US ki green card in a man hai na bado do gumman. In the US uh, so it normally takes about 10 years to uh, get your grid card. But in Canada, uh, from the day you land as student in Canada, uh, then it takes, uh, say, about four years. So within four years time, including your study period of two years, and then one year of work, and then a waiting time for about uh, a year, then uh, you get a permanent resident visa. So that is a big uh, attraction to the uh, international students. An exciting campus life and uh, Olympic standard uh, sports amenities. Things are very nice over there. And uh, the, the campus environments are always safe. And then the students are very happy. This, they lead a very happy life. And uh, so the campus life uh, will be quite different from the one we see here. Next. So 
<coughs> applying for a study permit uh, takes two steps. One is to secure admission in a college or university. And uh, so when you apply for uh, study permit, these documents will be required. Uh, admission acceptance letter from the college or university. And uh, medical examination report will be required. And uh, police clearance sometimes, not always. And uh, proof of fund, uh, you have to arrange, uh, say, some money uh, to support yourself. And so uh, what normally uh, is done is that you deposit uh, about uh, $10,000 uh, with a designated Canadian bank. And then uh, you get uh, this guaranteed income certificate, GIC, from the bank. And then you, you have to submit that document and uh, a valid passport, of course. And uh, <clears throat> admission processor, you can apply online uh, using the internet, or you can apply this on paper also at uh, visa application centers, BSCs. Uh, there are about five or six BSCs uh, in India, and then all the Canadian High Commissions. And uh, interview required sometimes, not always, and uh, letter of introduction and the temporary residence visa issued by the Canadian High Commission. So the paper, after application, the, um, the letter you get is not the study permit. But the, the Canadian High Commission in India, they will give you one paper that is called the letter of introduction. And with that, you will travel to Canada. And uh, at the airport in Canada, you will submit it to one authority called uh, this CBSA, Canadian Border Services Agency. And uh, they are the authority to issue the study permit to you the, when you already land in Canadian airport. Next please. Okay, so these uh, have already been mentioned by me, this uh, off-campus work permit and a post-graduation work permit and a quick permanent resident visa. These are the three attractions to uh, the international students these days. Next please. There are <coughs> various sources of funding uh, when, say, uh, we leave at Canada. And uh, there's a website called www scholarships and bursaries, GCCA. And the Scholarships Canada is another one. And uh, then uh, from the Research Council, uh, NSERC, and then CISR is uh, Canadian Institutes of uh, Health Research, and the Social Science and the Humanities Research Council, and then the Canadian Institutes for Advanced Research. So all these. Uh, have different programs of funding uh, this uh, international students worldwide. Next please. Aduna, Canada has supposed to be the Canada salaga like them to say, Aquina, if you plan properly and carefully, in the other tambadagi. And especially when you avail of the international scholarships and fellowships, fellowship scholarship, and the other scholarships, and when you take up part time jobs, and uh, when both are combined, and the part time job, when I was there, some can be say, you know, the office door OVI, even restaurant food server OVI, the receptionist OVI, I don't know where in high country the light of me in lab, the way it's read the restaurant that works already in a Kanbagi Kasuda College. Because that's the norm. And the Canadian students also, they go for part-time jobs. Uh, my daughters, they say during their high school days from grade 9 to 12, 
uh, they went out and uh, so they work at uh, uh, say places uh the one on side part and doctor will see uh the meek for and uh, not say only for the immigrants like us but uh, the canadian white everybody at the point of say pay satana ko thak takini na moi low dev pay satoy the thog say workplace some the talaga aduga thabak suba on to see the see life skill on to ba aduga adagi my self management on to ba advanto na adugi opportunity mane ni moi na low eta na the dignity of labor satana lai adana me mana sagi the swenama the workshop me na haraga uh, not necessarily we have to look down on it oh ma the pitalik the suri ni na hi and sagi my bank to board manipuri basam le ma salaga you know the uh, master degree to work na ma part time job to usani sagi the student ra kan salaga adu mayum da mayum da dimas mamana yam tu na toroga enaraga adu na hek ngi ima adu piro adu sage to gena dum to ga dum yo lo ngang le dena adu mai to usani adu na mana ada ki telephone na hai jane ma da ai smai to na mai ye restaurant da mai ye thabak to we na kai ki to we na ai so ai adu mayam adu put mai ye sa thak pi bo kor pa ke do ba na hotel ko ye tu ni na ko koi sa hai ta ga te adu ma ma adu ka pe ana ma le ne ana เอ่อคุยสิเลยบังสากีเอ่อกันอดุเดดเดมาเอ่อมามาลหายบดุนดูอดุใช่โอ้นึงซอดูมะกะดตอบไปเรคอยนะเฮ้ยแต่ไม่
And so dynamic Manipur wishes to say uh, provide information to you that uh, this is what is going on, and then after that it's up to you. Just because uh, going abroad doesn't make sense, or the, say uh, it makes sense to me. So that's uh, for you to decide. But uh, we we need to know about uh, what's going on in the world. And then uh, we have to say, inform our youth, particularly that uh, if you want to get, say, uh, if you want to avail of the better opportunities for study, higher study abroad, then this, you know how to go there, and then you have to know where they are. So that's the objective, I think, I believe. Thank you. Ning Sing Chaba Matana. Question hang bata dynamic Manipur ki activities ki matang da nataba. Nasa ye presentation tau ki bagi matang da wina hangi na ba ay dary. Dagi lockup chaba maga. Question hang bagi interaction ki section se 15 minutes katang pija bani. Ado ka question hang pasing da koi encouragement tibo koi na koi na gift package masa am tanga ye thokja gen tau bani. So first question hang hang bata maga. तो सीधा किसी चीज़ की पैकेज में ताम से मिल जाएगे। तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन। सर, माय नेम इज़ रॉबर्ट। एक्चुअली आई वांट टू आस्क वन क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग द इंटरव्यू ऑफ़ पिज़ा। इन द इयर 2010 आई वेंट टू अमेरिका फॉर फॉर कोर्स ऑन कार्पेंट्री। एंड देन व्हेन आई फेस द पिज़ा इंटरव्यू इन कोलकाता कंसोलेट एंड देन the way how the visa interview was conducted, it was more like a very arrogant type. Like they asked me questions like, "You have already completed your two year uh, postgraduate degree, two postgraduate degree, and why you want to be a carpenter?" All this kind of visa interview, I mean, the way how they behave in the interview and all these things are very arrogant, intolerant. Is that the same thing with the Canadians? And that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sorry to hear, yeah. Sorry to hear about your uh, bad experience, uh, but uh, uh, there's one thing about the uh, yeah, visa interviewer. Uh, number one, visa the visa officers have a high decision uh, about uh, say, giving the visa uh, about the decision. Uh, say, every, uh, I mean the decision goes uh, strictly according to their perception about uh, who you are and then what your intention is. And so very often the visas are declined when they find this uh, a gap between, so, uh, like you said, you had the, 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 that much of uh, qualification and then uh, you're going for a carpentry program. And so they don't add up. In their eyes, they don't add up. And so uh, then they suspect that, uh, okay, so you are going there, once you go there, and then this, uh, you may not be coming back. And so that's one big reason. And uh, even this year, uh, there was a Manipuri girl uh, who got the admission offer from a Canadian college, and then uh, she couldn't get the visa. It was declined uh, because there was a uh, there was a uh, study gap, and uh, she, I mean, she was applying for the study after about uh, seven or eight years of, uh, say, working in China and then in India. And uh, so the reason probably was uh, that uh, the same thing, it doesn't add up. So she must be planning to go to uh, Canada. And once they, she goes there, then, then she will be staying there. That's the plan. And that was the real plan also, in fact. So the visa officer always look at all those things uh, and then decide. If they suspect that your intention is something else than the study, then they won't give you the visa. Thank Ah, hello sir. Uh, I'm Sangal Jumnam sir, now a research associate in IVSD. 
Uh, is there, sir, is there any indoor uh, Canadian pause of skin is there? And right now, which institute in Canada is uh, uh, number one in basic research? And at what time that fellowship uh, is available? Uh, in, in what field? Uh, in basic science, biological science. Biological science, yes. Um, I say I cannot uh, give you uh, with that precision, this, this is the best institute because, uh, 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 to be honest, I do not have the information about uh, say, uh, which university is good uh, for what kind of studies. But uh, uh, the best thing for you is to uh, look up the National Sciences and Engineering uh, Research Council of Canada, and that then they have all the listings, and then the universities and the various programs, and then the funding information also. And uh, then uh, another source of information for you could be the Association of Canadian Universities. And uh, so in their website again, they have uh, the full list of the universities, and then the programs they have, and then the uh, say the centers of excellence and all those things. So, so uh, offhand, uh, right now, this uh, I cannot. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not able to give you that uh, information. Uh, Any more? Uh, thank you, sir. I, I am Ratan from the ASTO Women's College. Uh, my name is Dr. Ratan from uh, Cooperative. Uh, I would like to have a submission to you that first. Uh, anyway, I would like to speak to the Manipuri. Sir, I have a question for you. 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 I have a part-time job in Canada. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Magi societies na part time job city, Magi dignity of labor, skill labor, siyam na increase out. But in India and like in Manipur also, Manipur there is a for example, Aiki Isa na traga, Aiki Luina Vi na traga, Sargi Luina Vi sina part time job city to go matam dati. For example, some masi ki dignity of labor se, masi itang ano na yeng mudong tao eh, masi kuhan na bagi pambay si sar, masi Karamba Monga, Saka legacy in Tamjaja. Thank you, sir. Manipurta. <laughs> oh, that, that's a very difficult question for me. <laughs> Maybe uh, some colleges. Yeah, this uh, dynamic Manipur uh, yeah. uh, can maybe looking at that thing. Uh, because uh, when there's a positive vibe in the society, uh, then uh, say when we introduce things, today we hear at least uh, say about uh, 100 people sitting here. We are we are discussing that thing. Dignity of labor is there, and then people work not necessarily for uh, money, but uh, uh, say taking it as an environment opportunity for. Uh, learning life skills and other things in Canada, in the US, and then in the UK. So, uh, uh, say we agree, right? And then we appreciate this thing. And then uh, so slowly, just say uh, you'll be spreading the same uh, information to other people, and then uh, say one day uh, we'll be having a similar kind of uh, system over here. So that's how this we can achieve because. Uh, uh, good things are good things, and uh, so that, that's what uh, we are trying to bring to Manipur. Sir, Sir I'm Lakshmi Salam from Jen Lee Jungle. Sir, my question is, which is more reliable to study abroad or in our own country? Uh, reliable. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it's a uh, say it depends there are times when uh, say 
uh, you specialize in such a thing that uh, you're not very satisfied with the facility available within uh, India. So because of that, uh, say you could be going to uh, some other uh, uh, countries where uh, the facility you need may be available. So many scientists from India go to the US and then they work there and then so they, then, uh, they earn <clears throat> a lot of experience and achievement and then including the Nobel Prize, Targum in the Korana, right? And so those kind of opportunities, uh, because if they, he continued working here, then uh, there's a, his, his uh, potentials could have been terminated by the lack of facility over here, right? So in that kind of a situation, it makes sense. And then again, there are people this, uh, who may like to earn more, uh, say, going to Canada and then going to US and then take up a study program and then make themselves more employable in the, the uh, global employment market or in uh, Canada. And so the salaries, there is a big difference, right? Uh, so. So that way, this, uh, for that interest, uh, the he or she could be going also. So reliable, reliable study uh, is subject to this, uh, what your purpose is and then what your personal circumstances are. Uh, sir, I, I give me this amount of negative, sir. Uh, dynamic Manipur Facebook key member of Nisha. I I so I so command the Sir, I think concerning is this, sir. Uh, Canada for your province in have the Saskatchewan, Gumba, the Manitoba, or the British Columbia, Ontario. So the university systems may only go, sir. Or the I know Maroon Atari, Toronto and Ontario, they're very competitive university members in the admission system. Process the competitive way in the sir. When compared with Ontario and uh, Toronto, how the rest of the provinces in Canada, in, okay. in terms of competitiveness in uh, uh, getting admission to uh, her, uh, universities for higher studies? Okay. Uh, within Canada also, uh, there is a competitive uh, the performance ranking of the universities. And uh, most of those uh, high-ranking universities are concentrated in Ontario, uh, including, say, McMaster University, University of Toronto, and then uh, this one, University of Waterloo, like that. And uh, uh, then some of the universities, uh, high-ranking, are scattered in, uh, say, McGill University in uh, Montreal, and then uh, University of British Columbia, in uh, Vancouver, right? So, <clears throat> when uh, people try to go to the uh, say higher ranking universities, then uh, say obviously there will be competition, right? People will want to go there, and so uh, the competition will be higher there. And the universities, uh, uh, some other universities in uh, other provinces like Saskatchewan, Manitoba, uh, they do not rank very high, and so that way it is the competition will be lesser over there. So uh, in Ontario also there are certain weaker universities where you'll get admissions very easily. So not necessarily uh, say comparison between the provinces, but uh, the comparison is among the universities. Did I answer correct? Okay, one more question, sir. Uh, how is the weather like? Sir, uh, weather, say, how is the weather like? I heard that uh, when compared to North American other other countries, uh, Canada has very long winter and the winter is very severe. So, okay, can you please can you elaborate about your experience? Weather uh, about Canada. So when when somebody hears about Canada, then the first impression they have is cold. It's a cold country, but uh, it's cold in the northern uh, areas, and uh, still this uh, the uh, most uh, population concentration is along the line 
uh, borderline with the US, and that is the southern portion of uh, uh, Canada. Less colder, but it's still much more colder, I mean, much colder than uh, uh, Manipur. So in winter, the temperature can go to the minus uh, 30, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, occasionally, sometimes, not, not, not always. But, uh, it's colder here, it's colder in Manipur and it's colder in Delhi because uh, we are exposed to uh, the harsh uh, I mean, uh, weather and over there this, uh, the exposure is very less. For example, its hub has uh, a heating system, the central heating system and you have your, all your cars Buses, workplaces, and then the shopping malls, all are climatic, I mean, climate controlled. So, your house is with a thermostat, you fix a, a particular temperature, and then that will be there. And so, outside it may be uh, minus 10 degrees Celsius, but the inside uh, so I can live uh, with a t shirt, I don't need anything. But the, here in winter, this, uh, even when you are indoors, you have to put on something, this uh, thing on your back, right? And then you have to sit by my poo. And uh, <laughs> so <clears throat> this is not required over there. And so it's not cold. It's not, I mean, uh, say, um, it's much lesser than what you think. Uh, oh, wait, 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 one second. Because of the time factor, we'll have to limit the question. We have only two minutes left until we start our next round of questions. So, I would like to welcome just two more questions. Oh, we have a gentleman here. Yeah, it's a demand question. Instead of uh, knowing this uh, climate and others, I think this question is very important to us. So, let me switch to Manipur. Manipuri. So, I have to say, so you see, either I can tell me I'm going to search the book, or I can tell me I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you Mumbai University na Tulsi tathaga Tulsi avatar se direct ma hand pick tora ga khan jibas sumai to kona sargi ke pas se isse hi da koi education ni amna chokar haning hoi tara ga dekhe kuma talent khara manipura lai rein khala se sir na phazan a lead tora ga hang my Nobel Prize kuma ya abe University Stanford kuma da sir na lead tawa ngam hibara or si kuma ki si tawa da profit-oriented organization. Amagi the Muktas Nedla, when a Massis Man Kunmani and a mean a low give a lana, low good ra, a high of any gift choice at this day after you. Okay. I give you, sir, Massi, I did research scholar, I do robotics, I have the Tangan Jeriba Satravan. Thank you. Stanford, any Ivy League University, US key, the kind of information I gave today uh, in my lecture that still will be useful. Uh, if I commit that, uh, oh yes, I'll be able to help you uh, get admission there, then this uh, I'll be uh, I'll be wrong because uh, that that's a that's a false commitment. So uh, during my lecture, this uh, I uh, never try to give you an information that uh, I will be able to get you admission in a particular university. But that this was a general information for everybody. Anybody who wants to go outside, if you want, then uh, what kind of information sources are there? And then what kind of preparedness should be there? And then, uh, so what are the procedures required? And so that is, there, there lies the limit. And then uh, uh, I didn't go beyond that. And so I hope uh, you will not misunderstand me or uh, dynamic uh, Manipur uh, uh, about uh, this presentation. This this was a uh, for just for the purpose of information for uh, the desires people.
Thank you. One last question. <laughs> Sir, I'm Anjali Aiko from Tangta Junior School, and my question is, in Manipur, maximum students after passing year 12 aims only for medical and engineering. What do, what do you think about this, and please tell us what other things that can be done rather than this. Thank you. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> This question should have been posed to the education department uh, of uh, Manipur. <laughs> we know that, uh, say, uh, yeah, while trying to answer her question, this, uh, I just want to give you the information that uh, the education system is very well structured for uh, the learning abilities different learning abilities of the student community in, uh, say, uh, developed countries. And here, this, uh, we are not that successful in uh, structuring the education system uh, to meet the requirements of the students, because the students have different learning abilities. And uh, we cannot, uh, say, give a blanket education to uh, the students. And so for those students who they have the aptitude and ability to go for higher studies, then this their study program will be structured and then they will be guided towards that corridor. And then uh, for those uh, who do not have the, that capability, they will be directed towards the more job oriented uh, courses. And so we uh, say we need to have uh, that kind of a education system here. And uh, we can propose that to the education department in Manipur. So <laughs> that's my answer. Thank you. I have one last question. Uh, if there is anyone in the crowd who wants to ask more questions, you will get your chance. Uh, Wide World Immigration Consultants and Education is organizing a, a, a Go to Canada campaign on 5th October, that is on Sunday at GP College. So you're most welcome to attend the campaign and you can ask anything you like to sir. He's most welcome. <laughs> so I have just one last question. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, my name is Monica, student of the College of Arts. Sir, my question is this. There is any, there is any more facility given to Indian students to study in Canada, not only scholarship? Uh, there are a few bilateral programs uh, between Canada and the US, uh, but uh, uh, that's at the level of uh, research studies and uh, not at the, the undergrad level or at the postgraduate level. At the postgraduate level, uh, they have a, say, a program, joint program for funding a short study program, about three months or four months uh, study project. Uh, and so, uh, other than that, the, there's no uh, other uh, program I know. And uh, still, this, uh, uh, recently there has been another build-up uh, of, uh, say, understanding between, uh, what is that called, this uh, Association of uh, Community Colleges in Canada and uh, the Government of uh, India. And they, they are making a fast track visa uh, processing system for the, the Indian students uh, who want to go to Canada. Uh, but that's not a scholarship or anything, but that is just to facilitate and encourage more people uh, to want to go to Canada. But it has, uh, we have been trying several times, the green one. Yeah, let's take this question. That can be fine. <laughs> Sorry, gaming. A bit shake of day. Tayo na hanging is sir. Ano ne? Diya ni sir education system ka. Kasi Canada ki education system ka different, sama. Ato ka matang dana. Sir Canada din ako ay lagi para para sir. Ato pa confusing ka yung nawa. Kasi like tama nito. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
Aiho. Kala no ini pues no kau gitu entar. Jadi India lagi education system ga. Canada lagi education system ga di different sama. Aduh kan matang dana. Canada aja nak pai lagi faham faham ga. Di lari ke mana sah. Okay. Ah, if I go for say explaining the differences between the Indian education system and the, the Canadian education system, then uh, this uh, I'll have to take another one an hour to uh, cover all the things. But uh, basically, basically, uh, is uh, say I answer to another question. Um, uh, the education system is uh, well structured for students having different learning capabilities. Uh, and so that structuring is more complete in Canada than in uh, India. Though India has uh, uh, a similar program, but uh, uh, they are, theirs is more systematic and uh, uh, more polished. So th that's, what, uh, that's how I want to compare between the two. And uh, in Canada, the best place for study, uh, say we don't have to talk about the place, but uh, we have to talk, talk about the institution, a particular university or a college. And then again, when we come down to that question, uh, we have to say, uh, refer to a particular discipline you want to take up. because. Uh, not a single university is uh, good uh, for all the uh, say different disciplines. So one particular university may be good at, uh, for example, University of Waterloo is very good at uh, computer sciences and engineering, right? And then uh, this, uh, the McMaster University is uh, known for their uh, medical studies program. And then whereas uh, uh, Queen's University is famous for their uh, MBA program. So it depends on the particular study you want to take up. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to much. apologize from Dynamic Manipur side because I cannot welcome any more questions because of the time factor. So we would like to conclude the interaction section here. If there is any more question, we have a break time uh, after this. So you can like feel free to ask yourself, uh, ask sir any questions. Uh, and also, I would like to call upon uh, Kaka Bireshwar to hand over uh, our small gift of appreciation to Dr. Raj. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for your attention to uh, my lecture, and uh, uh, I'll be having the a business information seminar at DP College uh, on uh, uh, Sunday at uh, one o'clock, and uh, there will be more research like the one I saw uh, today. And so, uh, please come. If you want more information about the immigration work and then the study uh, in Canada, you're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs>